Hey y'all, today's the day we're gonna get your wedding dress out of the back of your closet and we're gonna turn it into a beautiful piece of wall decor that you can look at and enjoy every single day. There's a blog on suddenlycrafty.wordpress.com if you're thinking that you may have a little bit of trouble cutting into your dress, read that first. Um, there's some great suggestions before you make the cut and if you've already done that or you know you're ready, let's get started. There's a few things that we're gonna need today. Always our trusty pair of scissors. We're gonna need a staple gun. This is a craft staple gun, sewing staple gun, um, that's a little bit easier to use than the heavy duty um, hardware ones. Um, we're gonna need a little bit of chalk to make some marks. Colored chalk is gonna work best. Don't use white on a white wedding dress. Probably won't be able to see it. And then a, an embellishment for um, the wall art once you're done if you want to. And if you're gonna do that, we're gonna need a little bit of fabric glue. And then the base for all our wall art is going to be a piece of canvas. I've chosen a 24 by 24 um, gallery wrapped canvas. Um, it has a thicker edge, which I just like better than other canvases. So the first thing that we need to do is measure out where we're going to make our cuts. So we're going to put our canvas underneath the dress. Okay, so once you get your dress laid out over your canvas and get it centered the way that you want it, um, which is going to take a little bit of time, like I said, there's a lot of fabric, um, so be patient with it, it's going to take a few minutes, um, but once that's done, we're going to take our piece of chalk and we're just going to outline where we're going to cut, and you want to give yourself, depending on the width of your canvas, mine is about an inch and a half deep, um, you're going to give yourself a little bit of room around the edge to make that cut. Give yourself a little bit of room for error. I'm going maybe three inches um, past where my dress is laying on the canvas um, just so I have enough room to wrap it around. Um, if there's any error in the cutting or if it moves a little bit while I'm cutting, I'm not going to have ruined my project. Um, and so I'm going to make my corner here with my blue chalk. And I'm just going to outline all the way down the dress where I'm going to make my cuts. And this doesn't have to be a beautiful line. This is going to be back behind your canvas. But what I did is I um, got a really pretty piece of the embellishment of this dress going kind of across the canvas and you actually get to see the two tones that are on it. So you can take a look at your dress and see what the best part um, and what the part you'd like to use is. Um, it's going to be easier if you use pieces from the skirt just because you'll be able to um, lay it out a little bit flatter than pieces from the bodice. The bodice is going to be a little more difficult. So I'm done with my blue chalk. I'm going to put that away and now the fun part starts where we can make the cut and we can actually have room to work on our project, get rid of the rest of the dress. Are you ready to make the cut? I just start where um, at one of your corners instead of trying to cut all the way through or up the corner of a dress um, most of your scissors are going to be able to puncture right through there. And we're just going to cut all the way around this blue line that we've made. Okay, our cuts are done. Now we can take the rest of the dress and put it aside for another project. So the next thing we need to do is detach our dress from the lining. Now when you look on the back side, you're going to see that there where the embellishments are sewn, if your dress has embellishments, um, the, the lining may be a little tricky, but what we're going to do is we're just going to cut along the edges of any of these difficult seams, and we're not going to get into the tricky stuff. We're just going to cut as close as we can to all those embellishments and cut around them so we don't snag any of those little threads that are keeping our embellishments in place. Now that our lining's cut out, now would be a really great time for you to get out your steamer or your iron and go ahead and get some of these wrinkles out. If it's been in storage for a while, it probably has some wrinkles in it and we um, want to get as many of those out as we can before we stretch it over the canvas. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, we're going to be able to pull some of those out when we stretch it, 
but um, get as many out as you possibly can just so you have a really nice clean piece. So now that all of our lining is cut out, we are going to start stapling this portion of the dress to our canvas and that's where our well decor is made. So with the dress laid out over the canvas exactly how I want it, I'm just going to flip it, flip the canvas over so I can start making those staples. And the first thing I'm going to do is staple these sides just because um, I want to have, and if the staples on the sides are not in the right spot, a flathead screwdriver is going to pull these staples out of the back of this canvas no problem at all. So this is kind of error proof, you're not going to mess this up. Um, but just so I know that I'm getting, um, getting the dress exactly where I want it, um, and I can flip it back and forth um, as we're working, I'm going to go ahead and staple and pull the canvas pretty tight here. I'm going to go ahead and staple this right here so it's tacked down. And then the same thing along this side. Just pulling it out from under the canvas. I'm going to staple this side. And then we can flip it over and see how it looks and if we need to make any adjustments. Remember as you're doing this that you don't want to pull the dress too tight um, because it's going to cause some stress and it's going to cause unsightly lines, kind of like when you wear your clothes too tight. Um, so don't pull it too tight. We just want to get all of the all of the little wrinkles out, um, but we, we don't want to put a lot of stress on it. Um, so this is looking good. Um, so I'm going to flip it back over and start making some more staples. And I'm going to go all along one edge um, and then flip it back over and see how we're coming. So pulling my canvas tight. And you kind of want to make sure that there aren't any, any bubbles as you're going up and down um, these edges. If there's bubbles, that probably means that your dress isn't laying flat um, on the other side of the canvas. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in one of my corners just to make a really clean edge. This is going to be like folding a hospital corner on a sheet. Um, and I've stapled this edge already and I'm going to go ahead and staple, start stapling um, the, the next side instead of stapling the opposite side just because I think we're going to have a better chance of making sure that there's no pulls um, and no stress areas if we go um, around the canvas like that. So after I've made my hospital corner, I'm going to just give that a good staple and then we can start pulling this side tight and stapling that in. Okay, now that we've gotten that side pulled tight, we are to a corner that has a lot of embellishment on it, and so making that hospital corner is going to be a little bit more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut around most of that embellishment and cut it out of there so we can make a good clean edge. So once we have all of our staples done um, and the fabric is pulled tight over the canvas, um, we're going to trim off the excess fabric here on the back. 
um, just to make it a little bit easier to hang. It's not pretty on the back, but that's okay because that's not what we're going to see. And with all of our fabric pulled tight over the canvas, it's time to add our embellishment. And I've just chosen an initial. I've added a little bit of tulle from the underpinning of our dress um, as an embellishment. And I'm going to use my Aileen's Fabric Fusion. Um, what Aileen's does, they make tacky glue, which is great for ribbon and for fabric to fabric. Fabric Fusion actually um, molds all kinds of materials, wood and metal, to fabric. So it's great to embellish any type of fabric that you have. And we're just going to apply a good amount to the back side of whatever our embellishment is. Other great ideas, um, picture frames, um, maybe a, a piece of the jewelry that you wore if you have a gorgeous piece of jewelry or um, another piece of the embellishment of the dress or if you just had a really gorgeous dress that had great embellishments you don't need to add anything at all let the dress itself be the artwork um, the one thing about this fabric fusion is that it will stain your fabric so make sure that you um, put the embellishment down exactly where you want it because we don't want um, any stains after we put all this work into this gorgeous piece of wall art and so I'm going to push that down right there. Give it a little bit of pressure. And now we have a gorgeous piece of wall art that's made out of your wedding dress. And the great news is, is that there's tons of fabric left. So you can make all kinds of wonderful heirloom products um, that you can pass on to your kids. Next week we're actually going to work on a photo mat that you can put um, your favorite wedding photograph in. Um, and that'll be a great keepsake as well from the gorgeous fabric left over from your wedding dress. And see, it doesn't feel so bad after all to have that cut made. And now you can really enjoy the look of your dress every single day. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys soon.